Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. Let's go ahead and uh, you know try to understand what is actually MuleSoft. Okay. <clears throat> so now, <clears throat> if you go, if you go, I mean quickly or uh, you know in a uh, layman perspective, try to explain. Okay. So let's say if I go to make my trip, right, or yatra.com or anywhere, right. If you look at open this particular site, now you search for any any eternity here, right? I will look at it. We are getting multiple search sources. This is the best example for integration. You see here, we are getting Indigo, we are getting Vistara, we are getting Air India and blah, 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 Spice Jay, Indigo, right? Now let's have a look at it. So we have a business, okay? So this business is MMT. Now what these guys doing? These guys actually, there are vendors here. So vendor called Spice Jay, vendor called Air India, vendor called Vistara, vendor called Indigo, right? These are vendors. Now this platform is not owning, is not owner for any of the services. So whatever flights we are seeing here, right, is not owning these flights at all. What exactly this guy is doing? This guy is doing, okay, whenever there is a search on my platform, that is called integration platform. Integration platform. So whenever there is service, let's say from Mumbai to Delhi, I want to fly on this date. So this query comes to this platform. Now what this guy does, this guy asks same question to all these guys internally. Hey, somebody is looking for flight from Mumbai to Delhi on 30th of June. Whoever provides this service, send me the results back, response back. All those responses are coming to this guy, and those then he is rendering those responses over here. Clear? This is what exactly make my trip me. Instead of going to each and every guy and search for that flight, make my trip brings all those vendors to the platform, a single platform, and integrate them. Now, how this integration is happening? In the olden days, if you go this traditional approach, what used to happen? Okay, so there is a business over here. So this this can be Yatra. Okay, these are business, and these are the vendors available here. Air India, Vistara. I'll go with three. Okay, to have more space. Sara and I will say five shares. Okay. Now this guy running business Yatra. Now they used to have point to point connectivity. That means they used to write a custom code over here. How to connect this guy and get the data. How to connect this guy, get the data. How to connect this guy, get the data. Now think about it. This guy is giving data in the form of, let's say, it's putting on SFTP. This is this guy is giving data with the REST API in XML format. This guy is, okay, this is SOAP, let's go. And this guy is the REST. So this guy is giving data in JSON format. But yatra.com is rendering data in HTML format, right? Here, all the flights are getting rendered, right? So 
So first of all, to connectivity code, write the connectivity code for Air India, write the connectivity code for Vitsara, write the connectivity code for SpyJet because the communication is different, right? See here, SFTP, this is so, this is raised. So that means he has to write custom code. Maintaining custom code is a real challenge, right? Now let's say right. tomorrow, MMT comes. Now he need to write his code. Yatra is not going to share his code, right? So he need to write again his code, custom code to connect Air India, connect with Sara. Oh, sorry. Connect with Sara and connect Spice. He need to write his own custom code for rendering. Not only writing that code when you when you once you receive, are you able to hear me, Ravi? Yeah. Yeah. So when you get the data, so here in case of this Air India, we'll be getting file, right? In this case, we'll get XML. In this case, we'll get JSON. Now get that data, transform that data in HTML. Okay, filter that data, right? With the file. A few things should be coming, XML things, few things, JSON, few things should be coming. Filtering, formatting that data in HTML, that is responsibility and of the business, right? Now, I'll make a small change here. Okay, Ravi. Now, yeah, instead of SFTP, now think about it. Now, instead of SFTP, this is also sending data in XML format. Now, think about it. To make this change, to make this change, we need to stop bring down our business. This also has to be bring down because the custom code I need to change. Are you getting my point, Ravi? Yeah, yes. got it. The data format. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is business law. Now let's say tomorrow one more guy, uh, you know, as a vendor, want to give us service. For example. We have Air India, Vistara, Spice J. Let's say Indigo coming to this. Now what? For this, I need to make two connections. See here. Right now we're talking about only four vendors, two businesses. Now itself, look at my network, how it looks. Spaghetti, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, once the new vendor comes, I need to write custom code for that guy also again. So that for also for that also I need to bring down my business, build that code, test that code, and then bring my business back. This is a pain in point to point connectivity. Point to point connectivity. Now let's change this picture, okay? Now what I give? So there is a business one here. There is a business two here. They have their own platform. Now we have vendor list here. Okay. So vendor one, vendor two, vendor three, vendor four. Now we know that the pain in the point to point connectivity, what all pain are there. <clears throat> now, some middle person is coming and what this guy is saying, hey, let me take that response. You just connect with me. You just connect with me. That way. I'll take care of this, whatever custom code. So that connectivity code is already taken care by this middle guy in the form of connector. So for each vendor, if it's SFTP, SFTP connector will be there. If it is a SOAP, SOAP connector will be there. If it is a REST, REST connector will be there. Okay, so that one problem of writing custom code is automatically handled. Now, let's say today only one business want to connect. Now look at how many connections I give. Only one connection from client perspective, one vendor perspective, only one connection. So let's say there are N businesses and M vendors. Always there will be a 
n plus m connections only which is linear in previous case if you remember right it goes in factorial basically now what these guys doing <coughs> the middle person so whenever there is a request comes to this so there is a request for mumbai to delhi on 30th june day so this request will come so let's say this guy is so what this guy will do hey i give you the queue request queue and response queue so you put a request over here and get the response from the response queue you don't need to wait till you know you send the request once this request is available or response is available it will call you and you can render that code to your platform okay so now once this request is coming for this request all this vendor will be registered automatically so whoever sees that request they will say that hey i am providing service i am providing service i am providing service i am providing service this they will put that result in the response queue automatically go here in this queue so it is subscribe queue subscriber will come into picture and publisher clear so yeah. this they only published here that's it and listen from you now think about it tomorrow some more vendor file comes do i need to make any change on my business point of view no nothing no tomorrow one more business comes he needs to only register to this queue so he put a request in the response he will get it so from response he will take that request And definitely there will be connectivity for which request which response right? definitely that will be taken care by the correlation id and there will be a uh, transaction id so for this request this is the response it will be there don't worry about it so only one connection whenever there is a vendor or business only one connection so that means if this if i say n okay so always if somebody newly added only one connection i need to add but last time in the point to point so if business is getting added we need to add let's say there are m vendors then m connections i need to add if vendor is getting added then i need to add n connections n are nothing but the number of bits m is number of vendors but now in loopy coupled thing i am going only extra one connection so this this will be always clean so when you see right so there will be business one here business two here and then there will be middle layer and there will be vendors over here right it will be always clean like this like this. and this middle layer is nothing but right now we are talking about new stuff okay so behind the scenes is the uses the queue to transfer the money in the past okay and that we call it enterprise bus so now what all advantages we get it with, with this guy so it's like a the normal bus right the how we so once you send the message that will be over here that will get persisted if anything goes wrong with any of the vendor that request will be there in the queue once that vendor so let's for example vendor 1 vendor 2 vendor 3 now point to point connectivity vendor 1 is down there will be exception from this guy right we need to handle that exception in your code if you go to the previous line right if i go to my this guy if area id is down then this guy throw it exception to this guy we this will throw exception to this guy and you need to write that and if you don't handle right your business will go down 
right tomorrow right yeah they should tell some message where seats, seats are not available or anything yes. which yes. they have their own yeah. error handling here here what will happen whoever provides the service those guys will be uh, whoever up and running those guys those they will put those uh you know responses in that queue and then automatically queue listener is there for this then this then they will see that this right now this flights are available air india is not providing service right now to flight sir so it won't be visible there at all don't need to handle the okay reception or anything okay because okay. this guy is subscribed but right down so it, it won't put anything in the response queue so not only now how you get it when you get a data let's say this guy is sending data on the file xml so this conversion also can be taken care of this will be converted into html 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 so that is also can taken care by the middleware guy itself so what is needed by client that can be taken care by middleware guy is the new stuff thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today